All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a new video guys. I'm actually at home today. Um, I'm gonna be trying to wrap my car at home by myself. To be honest, I've never actually really wrapped any cars by myself. I've always had somebody there to help me like pick up the wrap and do everything. So I'm gonna try to do a few pieces today because I do need to start getting this wrap done. I don't want it to be taking forever to do the wrap. I'm gonna try to knock out one of the fenders and hopefully the side skirts today this morning because I do still have work this afternoon. So I'm gonna be trying my best to knock out the fender. I can definitely get the fender done. Um, I'm not sure about the side skirts though. Maybe one of the side skirts I can get done and then hopefully I will be able to go to North house and he can help me with like the bumpers and the doors because that's going to be the hardest part to do by myself. So hopefully we can do that. But first things first, we got to move out the car in here. My mom's van, we got to move that car out and then we're going to pull my car in. What's up Pepper? Ah. So yeah guys, I think we're gonna be wrapping this part today and then probably this side skirt. I'm not sure how much actual time we'll have to actually like wrap the car. I have about two and a half, three hours of time before I have to be done. So hopefully I can knock out the fender by myself and then I, I'm pretty sure I can knock out the side skirts pretty easily. Pulling the car into the garage and we'll go ahead and get started. All right guys, so we just pulled the car in. I'm just grabbing all my tools I'm gonna be needing. So we got the clay bar right over here, the squeegee right here, and then we also got the spray, the quick detailer spray um, for the clay bar. Uh, we're gonna be going ahead and doing this to the fender and to the uh, side skirts, clay barring everything. I just gotta go set up my tripod real quick, and then we will go ahead and get started. One thing I noticed is it's really hard to do this by yourself. So if you guys do plan on wrapping your own car, make sure you have like a friend that can help you because I didn't realize how difficult it actually was to just do this by yourself. Um, I've been struggling to get the wrap on fitting like properly. It's hard to have like it sit down and then me be able to pull the other side properly. So I think I'm gonna be able to do it. It's just a lot harder. It takes twice as long to be honest. And also another little tip, if you don't have a heat gun, you can go ahead and grab like any hair dryer and it works pretty much the same. It's not as good as a heat gun, but it's definitely doable and most people have a hair dryer, so that's a little tip. But anyway, we're gonna try to get this on properly and then it should be looking good to be honest. Once I have it like set on properly, uh, I should be able to just like squeegee it down. From there, we should be able to do the side skirts pretty easily. Uh, it's really difficult. It's actually very, very difficult to try to do this by yourself. So definitely, definitely, definitely another recommendation is to have somebody who can help you. Just to even hold it, just to hold it down, that would be great. So I was somehow able to actually get it to sit properly. At least the top part, it's looking good to actually like squeegee down. So let's go ahead and start squeegeeing it down. Let me see. Right, guys so we're like almost done with the fender so we got this part tucked in i still have to do the rest of the tucking for this part but so far it looks really good there are a few little imperfections that you can't really tell on camera but in person you can see it i'm actually very happy with how it came out for it just being me over here doing it by myself i'm actually really happy so far uh let's go ahead though finish it and then come back and see how it comes out All 
All right guys, so we just finished the fender. It's looking pretty good actually for just me doing it by myself. There's a little bit of imperfections. Uh, it's really hard to tell on camera. Like a few little like dots. So like right here, there's a little, let's see if it wants to focus. Like right in here, there's like a little dot. Otherwise it looks really good. I'm really happy with how it came out, how it tucked in. So now let's go ahead and do one of the side skirts. We could try this side skirt or the other side skirt. I think I'll probably do this one. Let's go ahead, close the hood, see what it looks like. Dang, there we go. So now it's coming together. The front end is like almost complete. We just need the front bumper. So yeah guys, it's looking real good now with the both fenders done and the hood done. Um, the next part for the front end is definitely the bumper, um, but this is definitely a two person job. Uh, maybe even a three person job. The bumpers are the hardest part. So definitely, definitely do not try doing the bumper by yourself unless you're an absolute professional. It is very, very difficult to do by yourself. Same with the rear bumper. Front bumper and rear bumper are very difficult. The easiest parts are definitely like the fenders and the hood. That's definitely the easiest part. And then the side skirts are pretty easy to do by yourself. Um, the trunk can be pretty easy, except you do have to do like uh, two pieces. So you do one piece right here and then one piece down here. But other than that, uh, the doors are kind of a pain because you have to take off the door handles and then wrap the door handles. And those are really hard to take off and put back on, especially the front ones with like the comfort access, as you guys can see with the comfort access. Makes it very, very difficult to uh, take apart. So I'm not exactly looking forward to that. For the most part, uh, I think I'm gonna knock out the easier parts by myself and then the harder parts with Noor. So let's go ahead and try to knock out one of these side skirts. All right guys, so next up we're gonna be clay barring and uh, washing down the side skirt. And then I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to figure out which piece I should use. I think I'm gonna try to get out the, hmm. What should I do? I think I'm gonna try to do the quarter panel piece, line that up, and then from that piece, cut a small portion for the bottom of the, uh, the, the, the side skirt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the piece, I'm gonna lay it out right here, and then uh, from that piece for the quarter panel that I'm gonna use for the quarter panel, I'll cut this part because it's gonna be long enough and it will hopefully work properly. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and see. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right guys, so this piece should work perfectly fine. Uh, that part right there is what I used for the fender. So it should fit perfectly. And I think what I'm gonna be able to do, I think what will be able to happen is this little section right here, I will cut it in half and I will use that for the other side, uh, the other side skirt. And then this piece right here should be enough for a door. I'm trying to see if I do have enough wrap for the whole car. I'm pretty sure I have enough wrap because I still have like, uh, five by 25 feet in like a big roll and then the rest of it I had it in like five by eight feet So three of five by eight feet is what I had and so this is one of those the the five by eight feet and we use that for the hood and For the other fender and then that was all we could use for one of the pieces and then this piece I've used a fender and then hopefully the side skirts and then hopefully at least a door and then I should have enough with the five by eight and then the five by 25 Probably a little bit extra, which is good. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this part right now and then uh, start doing the side skirt. Uh, thanks, man. You got some Acropovic pipes? Um, it's actually just a muffler to leave, but I got the tips. Nice. Yeah. As long as it looks the part, it sounds great, right? Right, it sounds really good. <laughs> thanks. So it's like an X pipe you got on it or something? Uh, no, right now it's just, um, it's just a muffler to leave with a Y pipe. Nice. Yeah, it's- That sounds so much better. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> How are we going? So we got the side skirts done as well. This one took me quite a long time. And I actually just saw that this is not actually 
Oh gosh, okay, let me do that real quick. Um, so I guess a good tip that I can share with you guys is on these like bubbles right here, on these bigger bubbles, um, don't just like press it down, go all the way around and like slowly squeeze the air out from all sides. You don't wanna just push it down from like one way. So there are a few little imperfections like at the top, um, but for the most part, it's looking pretty, pretty good. It took me like an hour to do this part alone. So it is kind of difficult. It does take forever when you're by yourself. Definitely, if you guys wanna get it done faster, have somebody else help you. But uh, for the most part, it's looking good. I don't have any more time today. I gotta head to work. Uh, so I will catch you guys later. Maybe at Nora's house, maybe at my house still. We will see. So I will catch you guys later. All right guys, so it's actually day two. I just pulled my car into the garage. We're gonna go ahead and start doing the other side skirt. So a few tips on how to wrap your car by yourself, literally by yourself. What I noticed is you just gotta be really, really patient uh, with like putting on the wrap and doing everything and just accepting the fact that it's gonna take a long time, especially if you're a beginner. I wouldn't really consider myself a beginner, but I wouldn't consider myself a pro either by any means. I've just done it a few times with my friends and that's about it. So yeah, just be patient with putting on the wrap. Take your time. Make sure that you use a lot of heat with like a heat gun or like I said, you could use a hair dryer. Most of you guys will definitely have a hair dryer available instead of a heat gun. And then just make sure you guys clay bar your car. Like please, please clay bar your car. Clay bar each piece individually before you wrap it. That's a big tip. Especially if you're by yourself, it's gonna take a lot, a lot longer uh, to wrap the car. Uh, when you put on the wrap onto the actual car, try to get as much on one side and then you're gonna, you're gonna have to try to pull. So you're gonna have to try to pull the wrap to get like as much of it out as possible. It's kind of hard to do, so be patient with that other than that just have fun with it make sure you guys are having a fun time wrapping your car and remember the end result will be worth it just takes a lot of time it's like an investment almost so you got to look at it like that no you're not going to be able to uh, do it in three days by yourself it's going to take a lot longer you have to have at least one person helping you if you want to do it in three days especially if you're a beginner so i highly suggest having a friend to help you those are a few of my tips but let's go ahead and jump in i'm going to do my other side skirt and i think i'm going to end this video i'm going to hopefully get it done within two more parts so I think I'm gonna try to get the rest of like the front bumper and a few doors and then have that be a video and then maybe a uh, rear bumper and like the trunk and like the rear doors, maybe another video. Uh, but let's go ahead, jump in to actually doing my next side skirt and then we'll end the video there. guys so I just pulled out the car it's sitting back there now pretty much this is all I'm able to do for like the next few days so I think I'm just gonna post the video like this hopefully you guys will enjoy it all right guys here's how the car is sitting right now so we got the both side skirts done we got that fender done and then this side skirt over here so it's coming together so it's slowly coming together guys I know it's taken a long time I'm just been pretty busy recently so that's the reason why I'm not like knocking it out completely um, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check me out on Instagram right over here and without further ado I will catch you guys in the next video remember stay safe stay happy and stay in that BMW catch you guys later